Oh god! Hello out there, we're on the air, and welcome back to the channel, and happy Tuesday. I am of course Captain Clayton, and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at the brand new scramjet that was just released into the game today. So it's a weaponized vehicle that comes from the Warstock Cash and Carry website, and in order to get it you have to unlock it through doing an adversary mode called the Hunting Pack. Um, I recommend doing that just because it's over a million dollars cheaper when you do it that way. You can get it for 3.4 versus the 4.6. So it's quite a big difference there, and then it's quite a lot of money too. The only thing is that adversary mode sucks fucking balls. And go watch my live stream of it because that's what I... I, I live stream the whole thing, and it's just garbage. But good luck with it. If you have a good crew with you, you can probably do it in uh, your first round or second round. Anyway, we've purchased the scramjet, and here it is. I put it in my office garage one with the rest of my supercars. And the first thing I notice here is that you need to have an MOC or an Avenger to upgrade it, which doesn't make any damn sense, and I'll tell you why. And it's because the stock version of this already comes with everything, which is great because you spent all that money on it, so it should come with it. But why do you need the MOC or the Avenger to upgrade just the regular crap? Look, see, it already jumps. It already has its thruster. Um, I wasn't able to test the guns right here because I, I was in passive mode. But, um, like, there's no option to upgrade the guns once you're in here. All there is is the standard shit, which I'm fast-forwarding right now. And I believe I'm going to stop the fast-forward, and now we're just going to go look at the liveries. So if you see these, you realize almost immediately what I realize, which is there's not a hell of a lot to do with liveries. Like, they're kind of standard... Um, but if you make your car a different color than white, these do look a lot better. These last two here, that one and the Princess Bubblegum thing, no matter what color your car is, that's what they're going to look like. So if you want those, don't bother putting a paint job on it. But that's about it. Like, there's nothing else to do to this car in there. So why do you need the MOC? It comes with the guns, and it comes with the rockets, and it comes with the, the jump and the thruster. So it doesn't make any sense that you need to upgrade it in here because all of those things you can do in Los Santos Customs. It's standardized shit. Get it together, Rockstar! Fuck's sakes. But this is how I ended up customizing the car, and my first impressions of this thing are... It's pretty badass. At first, though... I was upset because I didn't notice when I was going through the the wheel there that <laughs> um, I, it has the missiles and the uh, machine guns there. I don't know how I missed it completely. I thought it just didn't have it, and this it was glitched and all that stuff. Because I went back to the MOC and or the Avenger and tried to buy weapon upgrades, and it, they weren't there. So I just thought it was one of those things that it was glitched. It wasn't going to be on the car every single time you tried it. But look at this. You could just jump. You can while you're in the air just take off in the thruster which makes this thing amazing um, the machine gun on it's not great the Strongberg is definitely the best car with machine guns on it it would have destroyed that car within seconds where this one takes a few the missiles have great accuracy unlike that goddamn oppressor Mach 2 which sucked when I first got it look at this thing here it's an American flag and the, the graffiti says this thing's or this is broken can I return it never noticed that in the game ever before in my life now when you first get this thing it is pretty hard to control at first because uh, I mean this thing is pretty fast Especially when you use the thruster and the jumping together. It's hard to land properly and take off again. Like, look at this. It's, it's a little hard to control at first, but I'm sure you get used to it just like you did with everything else that you've bought in this side, inside this game. Just look how far you can jump with this thing. It's pretty awesome. Stuck behind a fence that won't open? No problem. Let's jump it. And now you're flying through the air with the cars. Like I said, this thing is a lot of fun to use. Now be careful about shooting the ground in front of you. You will die instantly. It doesn't have any uh, protection on it. it. One rocket will explode it. But it costs only $10,000 to replace it from Moors. Now if you look inside here, there's nothing too much in first person. Like the interior, they could have done a little more work on. But 
And I think right here I'm trying to see if I can measure how fast it's going, but there's not a chance of being able to see that the steering wheel's in the way. And just so you know, there are only 30 rockets on this thing, which is way better than the Runer, which only had 8, but not as good as the Deluxo, which has 50. Um, it's sort of more like the Stromberg, except for the Strongberg can take 6 rockets, so I mean... It's Rockstar's way of balancing out all the cars so they're not complete weapons and, and a complete griefing tool. You have to have something that can counter it. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. That is going to be the end of the episode for the day and that is the brand new scramjet that uh, we got to have fun with. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and even if you are not new, just returning and liking my content, and make sure you hit that bell so that you receive email updates of when I post something else. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, have a happy Tuesday, and uh, remember, take care of yourself and each other.